My name is Nasmus Kandiker and this is Windows 3.1, uh, released in the 1990s and with a copyright of 1992. The goal of this video is for me is to uh, show you the unprecedented compatibility of Microsoft Windows 8. Uh, this is I'm about to run a game called Freddy Fish and Luther's Maze, Maze, Maze Madness. Uh, it's uh, released in 1994, uh, designed for Windows 3.1 and Windows 95. Mm -hmm. I want to show you this game works perfectly fine in Windows 8. Now, this game is called Freddy Fish and Luther's Maze, Maze Madness, uh, released by Humongous Entertainment. It's about two friends who uh, hang out and then the green fish but mistake, mistakenly uh, releases the yellow fish's uh, grandma's kelp seed and your job is to uh, go through the maze and collect all the lost kelp seeds. So and that's what it is. I used to play this game a lot as a child. It was released in 1994. It, the age for this is eight, uh, 3 to 8. But I I think this game is a bit too hard for three-year-olds. Uh, it, it's a, it's a quite difficult game actually. Um, but what I want to want to show you is this game is uh, it's it's running on Windows 3.1, a 1992 operating system. Another interesting thing about this game I might not notice is that it it's designed for touch. You know, in 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 the in, a, in the days where touch didn't exist. So what you could you could play this game with keyboard and by clicking on different places. I could navigate the places by clicking with the mouse. It works perfectly fine with the touch. And that, my friends, I find very interesting. Now, what I want to show you is that this is the games folder, and this is definitely running, uh, I'm running Windows 3.1 with a, on top of Windows 8 using the DOS Boss simul simulator, uh, emulator. Uh, this emulates MS-DOS, and you can install DOS games and, of course, Windows 3.1. Uh, it runs amaz perfectly fine. It runs better than VirtualBox or Virtual PC. It, it just runs amazingly. So what I'm going to do is exit out of DOSBox, and I'm going to run this game, the same game I ran on Windows 3.1, <coughs> a 1992 software, on a 2012 software, Windows 8. You could see the icon. It's going to ask me to play. And I'm going to load it up. Humongous Entertainment. You could see this game loading perfectly. It is absolutely unprecedented. No other operating system can run natively a software released over 20 years ago. I'm t I'm, it's, it's, it's unprecedented. Uh, this is running a third-party software. Not, this is not Microsoft's own software. It's a third-party software. Uh, it's supporting the OS supporting an ancient third-party software. What you see me load right here is that uh, Win Win Help file. It's a help file. Uh, Windows 8 is still supporting the old Win Help format. Also, you might notice that this game is designed for touch, even on a day that days where touch didn't exist. As you could see earlier, uh, when I was tapping my name, uh, there's a virtual keyboard built into this game. I don't know why, how they thought about thought about thought out all this, but it 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 works great with touch. Uh, all I'm going to say for 1994 software, that is amazing. Now this game does play on full screen, but I had turned it to windowed mode for your con for this purpose of recording. So yeah, this is fun. So I uh, so as you can see, this is uh, this is very cool. And uh, I thank you for watching this video. It's very uh, uh, it's just wanted to show you how uh, Microsoft is committed for legacy. Some people might think it's a bad thing, but you know it's amazing. It's amazing work of engineering. Windows 3.1 ran on DOS, a totally different operating system, and this is running, this is Windows 8 64-bit running on an NT kernel, totally different kernel, kernel that had been redesigned since Vista, and Windows 8 is a total revamp of the Windows operating system. It is amazing. It, Windows has undergone huge changes in all these years, but its compatibility with software is astonishing. So what I'm right, doing right now is writing thanks. I'm going to try. This is actually a level editor. The, the, this is one of the early forms of level editors with GUI. Uh, it lets you make and play your own level. I'm going to fail because I'm running out of space. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't write um, thanks, but uh, I'm trying my best. So. You know, this is a pretty cool, cool thing. Uh, yeah, it looks really weird. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.